Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back from vacation! Yay! Actually not yay. I mean yay, I'm back opening boxes but I want to go back on vacation. <laughs> Anyways, I had a great vacation. I will tell you guys about it as I open like the millions of boxes that I have. Um, waiting for me. So hello and welcome if you guys are new to my channel. My name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxing. Uh, unboxings with an S on the end of that plural. <laughs> we like to do more than one box. <laughs> so anyways guys okay so I've got like one two three four five five boxes um, that are waiting for me to open. Something smells so good in my room in here what it is but it smells so good anyways um and then I have I will be showing you guys the crystal haul for my personal collection that I purchased while I was on vacation and I did go to a wholesale warehouse um, and bought crystals for my shop and y'all I'm so excited now I didn't get like super huge crystals it seems as though currently my customers like um, tumbled stones and palm stones and that kind of thing and, and um, small, smaller things, right? So I bought, I bought some of those jobbers. So we'll talk about that more in a different video, but let's open our uh, Nine of Earth. So it is just like a deep, deep, like plum purple color. Um, that's it. And it came in a, um, there was a bag over it. You know what I mean? It's very discreet. Oh my gosh, sorry. I'm looking at my phone because like, my work friends are going to town. We've got a group chat. <laughs> All right. First, on top of some paperwork, and it says magical things. So I have zero idea, like, what our theme is or um, what the decks are. I try not to look at that stuff. Okay, I'm not going to read this because this tells you everything. So first we have crinkle paper that we're going to put on our monster over here that's slowly reforming. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we have an altar cloth. It's pink! Pentagram altar cloth. Um, hold on, I figured out how to open this, there we go. So how are you guys doing? I am so, uh, it's like bittersweet. I'm, I'm happy to be back, but I like wanna go back to the beach. All right, so we have this pink altar cloth with um, silver. It almost looks like a rocket ship. <laughs> the, the little stuff around this side, it looks like a rocket ship. Anyways, super cool. I don't have any pink altar cloths, so we will figure out what to do with this. I am ready to buy a house, guys, but my boyfriend is like, the market is shit. Ugh. Gotta talk him into doing this. All right, but I mean, my lease is up, I think, in November, and his son turns 18 in September, so it's like, let's do this. All right, um, for those of you who don't know me and haven't been following along, me and my boyfriend are trying to move to the East Coast, and, um, like, Georgia, North or South Carolina, which is where we visited on our vacation, and, um, yeah, so if certain things got to fall into place, and then hopefully we will go, so, anyways. All right, altar cloth, where is it? Satin altar cloth, it is a $9.99 value. It says add some color to your altar with this charming altar cloth. Can also be used as a tarot cloth, scarf, or hang as decor. Lovely. Okay. I think my dog's crying. Okay, and then we have this crystal. It almost looks like a aura quartz. So it's purple. Um, let me get it out of here so you guys can see this better, but it looks, it doesn't look like the color is, uh, yeah, it's, it's regular quartz, but it's coated. Hold on. Oh, the necklace is, okay. Can you guys see it's kind of rainbow? It's hard to see. The, the actual necklace is kind of like rainbow stuff. And then we have this quartz that's like a purple, um, color. Very nice. All right, so it says Aura Quartz Power Pendant Necklace. It's uh, valued at $16.99. My hair is doing weird things. Okay. You guys see it? <laughs> okay. Uh, titanium covered quartz crystal on a beautiful stainless steel rainbow chain. 
Titanium or quartz is said to have all the properties of both quartz and titanium, making it a very powerful stone. This high energy stone is said to help you find your own inner strength and enhance your personal power. It may enhance your aura, charge your chakras, stimulate energy, and restores the balance in your body. I need some energy stimulated. I have to flip my, I've, you know, I've been on a day life with my boyfriend on vacation and I'm a night shift worker for those of you that know. And, um, ugh. now I got to flip back to nights. I've felt like a normal human these last couple weeks. Um, and so I'm really sad. I don't want to go. I don't want to go back tonight. <laughs> All right. So then we have this little box and it says good things are coming. Oh, oh, so we'll get out this little thing first. So it looks as though we've got a sphere stand, a little um, wooden sphere stand. And then we have a sphere. Is it real? I don't think that's rose quartz. Look at that though. Nice, it's so pretty. Let's see, I bet it's like a, an aura thing too, hold on. Mini crystal ball with stand. Okay, it's probably just like a pink, pink glass or something. Yeah, okay, I can see the fiber. Okay, hold on, let me read it. So it is uh, $17. And it says, this gorgeous crystal ball is the perfect addition to your magical space. Fiber optic glass cat's eye, which you can see like that cool cat's eye. Um, where did it go? Shit. Cat's eye is a man-made stone, but still possesses the same chemical properties as quartz. So it is claimed to hold the same metaphysical attributes. Cat's eye is said to bring serene happiness, stimulate intuition, and enhance awareness. It is also considered to be lucky, and it is used in feng shui, feng, feng shui <laughs> to increase positive chi energy in dark rooms and corners. Colors may vary. Okay, so not everybody got a pink one. What'd y'all get? Did anybody get a different color? So, ta-da! Okay, we'll put this guy right up here. He's cool. I love it. Okay. Um, I almost want to put him back in here. I swear, like, I keep wanting to keep things packed because I'm like, I'm moving. <laughs> Even though it's, like, months away. Um, I'm trying to get my shit somewhere else. Guys, tell me what I should do. Like, I'm trying to figure out what to do because, number one, I'm so sick of working night shift because I think it makes me, like, physically kind of ill. You know, it just, I'm exhausted all the time. And, um, I guess I should put this back in here. And, um, yeah, there's no, ch there's no chance of a, of a day, a day shift job on my job right now. Um, I don't see one coming up anytime soon. Um, I've been away from the bedside for like four years. I'm a virtual nurse and I'm like, can I go back to the bedside? I don't really want to, like, I really don't want to, but I don't know. I thought about doing some travel nursing so I can get moving on going other places. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, leave me a comment below. What should I do? Stay at my job, work night shift. See if they'll let me work from the, that company living somewhere else. So far it's a no, but I can work on it. Travel. Do travel nursing, which means back at the bedside and try to get all that going. Or stay where I'm at and just bust my ass on my side biz and then make that my full-time gig. I just really wonder what, that's really what I want to do. Anyways, but I could pay off a lot of bills if I travel. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Okay. Sorry. For those of you that just want to watch the box, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ascension Crystal Candle. All right. If you guys can see, there's some numbins on the candle. Arc made. Let's see if it smells like anything. Oh, there's um, there's a couple crystals on there. Can you see the crystal? There's like little crystals right there. Cool. Cute. 
All right, I'm making a mess. All right, boo -doo 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 -doo. where is the Ascension Crystal Candle by ARK, A-R-K, made. It is a $16.95 $16 value. A ritual candle royal, mm, a, that's really hard. A ritual candle rolled with intention, filled with jasmine and sacred seven crystals. Sacred seven. Made with 100% beeswax, cotton wick, natural herbs, and genuine gemstones. Very good. You can follow them on at ArcMade if you guys are so inclined to do. All right. Okay. Next. We has a smoke bundle. Smoke bundle. Whoops. I dropped some of the smoke. Okay. Yerba Santa. Okay. I was like, what is this? It looks familiar. Yerba Santa bundle. It is a uh, $4.99 value. This magical sacred herb has vast benefits. It is often linked to spiritual healing and awareness, clarity, and bringing comfort while releasing trauma. Often used as an altar offering and blessings to be your free space and for divinatory purposes. Very nice. Okay, there are some stickers in here. Yay! Or maybe there's just one sticker. Oh, I love it. Look at the sticker. It's a potion bottle with some roses and shit. Very nice. Okay. Where is our... Okay, Magic Potion Sticker by Print is Dead. $4.50 value. This highly high-quality, beautiful vinyl sticker... Oh my God, I'm having hair issues. Is good for both indoor and outdoor use. Add to anywhere you would like to add a touch of magic. You can find these peoples at printisdead.co.uk forward slash underscore printisdead underscore. There you go. Okay, I'm making a mess. We're making a mess. And then I got some crystals in a bag. We've got, what are our crystals? Where'd it go? Oh, they're the same thing? No. So I've got purple agate tumbled stone. It says it's a $3 value. Yay. I don't know that the purple's like, really showing up for you guys. It's it's a deep purple. It's very pretty. And then I have a Sheen Obsidian Tumbled, which is a $4 value. Very nice. All right. So this we'll start with the Sheen Obsidian. This stone is said to sharpen senses by opening the third eye, help articulate your words. I'm going to need that. <laughs> and aid in willpower and patience. May balance the left and right brain to be less analytical and more intuitive. Purple agate. Agate is said to help keep you emotionally stable by balancing your lower chakras. Enhances strength and focus while easing stress and tension. Its positive vibrations encourage optimism and draw in love and kindness. Carry with you when you need to feel grounded and protected. Very lovely. All right, we've got one more thing and then we've got our deck. All right, so something in bubble wrap here. Oh, that's cute. So it is um, casting salts and it says psychic awareness. So they kind of did the same thing as me. I do like a little glass jar like this with the cork. They've got a um, like a plastic thing around it. And then they tied like a black cord with like a resin purple moon with some uh, looks like gold mica or, or uh, flakes in there. I don't know if you guys could see that. That guy right there. Cool. And then the salts are like purpley and shit. And it looks like there's maybe some lavender in there. Fun. Okay. Let's see. Where is our salts? I don't even see the salts on here. Hold on. Candle, your Santa, necklace, sticker. Oh, here it is. Psychic awareness, casting salts. It's $4.99 value. Purple casting salts can be used to enhance your connection to your higher self 
and open your third eye to divine communication. Swirls of black salt have been added to absorb any negative energies and protect yourself from psychic attacks. Use to sprinkle around your altar, near your bed, meditation space, add to water to cleanse tools, or include in rituals. External use only. Do not eat it. Don't eat it. Okay. All right. Now we are on our deck. It is the... Oh, I don't know if I could read it. Antiquities of Magic Oracle. Do not have this one. All right, let's open this up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can probably see this a little bit better. And then it just has some pictures of some little critters. And then the back. Let me read about it and then we will go through the, um, the cards. Okay, symbols act as clues that help guide your personal growth. Learn and explore the sacred language of the universe and the tarot. Use this deck to read your oracle, enhance your tarot readings, develop and strengthen your intuition, build your symbolic dictionary, and create and set magical intentions. It is by Jillian C. Wild with an E on the end. So uh, you can follow her at Jillian, J-I-L-L-I-A-N, C W I L D E Jillian C Wild. Okay. Um, and then she's got visit my chance to win a grand prize. She's got a little card in here, the um creator of the deck. We've got a cute, sweet little book. It is um just black and white, little black and white book. All right. And then the inside of the box, um, it says, all the answers we seek are mirrored in the divine. So that's what it says there. And then on the other side, I don't know if that's like a keyhole or what that is. All right. This deck has been set with the healing intention of connecting you with the ancient wisdom of symbols. Did I already read all that? Um, may it help deepen your communication with self and the universe. All the answers you seek are mirrored in the divine. I'm glad we found each other. Yeah, okay. Um, so the backs of the cards look like this. And that was the little um, information there. Okay. So angel compassion. Armor boundaries. Bench assess. Bird information. These are super cute. Blindfold unseen. Bull resistance. Ooh, the next one I'm getting some. I love it. Butterfly transformation. And that's, um, you know, that's how I feel about my Luna Moth. Um, it's about transformation, rebirth, regeneration, all that good stuff. Uh, castle alignment. Maybe I should do this. Chain attachment. Cloud revelation. Coffin inevitable. We all going to die someday. Crown accomplishment. Dog loyalty. Yes, my dog is so loyal. He, oh my God, he was such a good boy on the trip. Feather faith. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you, I think you can see pictures of him. There's a little bit. I didn't put a ton of pictures from my vacation um, on Instagram because I was like, people who follow me for witchcraft stuff are going to be like, oh, my God, this. Anyway, fire expansion. It is. Can you guys hear the thunder? <laughs> Fish intuition. Oh, it's purple. Yeah, it is thundering out there. I heard there were supposed to be some um, storms. Flag devotion. Flower bouquet potential. Globe totality. Grape blessings. Hammer forge. Hand reciprocity. Heart connection. Oh, I love that it's an anatomical heart. Horse action. 
house familiar familiar famili familiarity famili familiarity that's a hard word ice stagnation key reveal lantern illumination leaf change lily innocence lion temperament lizard renewal sorry i'm looking <laughs> lobster inner growth and yeah excuse my nails y'all like they started getting tri ch uh, chipped from all the different things we were doing on vacation like getting in the ocean like it was starting to wear it and stuff so I ended up um, peeling it all off moon influence so and I'm super freaking broke y'all I'm broke between hotels and um gas food oh my god we spent so much money on food and then buying crystals for my shop plus my personal collection y'all mama is broke as hell mountain gold speaking of broke my store's open so if you want to buy something <laughs> watch out for new crystals once you see my crystal video pop in or maybe even before that um my new crystals will be in my shop ocean release I'm trying to figure out what I want to do today because um, I need to flip to night shift. So I don't know if I'm going to take a nap in a minute. Pathway passage. I love the illustrations on these. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, there's something about these that just are very crisp and beautiful. Pillar support. And I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Pomegranate prosperity. You could even use these for a spell. Like if you want to do a prosperity spell and put that on that altar. Ram leadership. Rose promise. Scale balance. See, like you could do a justice, like a creating balance or winning at a, um, in a court situation. Ship exploration. Snail persistence. Snake energetic movement. Woo! Sphinx ancient wisdom. Y'all know I like my some Egyptian shit. Very nice. Staff direction. Star guidance. Sun Vitality, Sunflower Admiration, Tree Root, Tulip Unconditional, Wolf Instinct, and last but not least, Wreath Honor. Oh my god, these are so pretty! I really like these. I feel like I have another deck by Jillian Wilde. Like, she sounds so familiar. Hmm. If anybody can remember what else she does, drop me a note in the comments below. Otherwise, um, I'll look it up at some point. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna draw a card and see what our, our message is from the creator of the deck. What do we need to know, y'all? Okay, Wreath Honor. All right, I wonder if these are like an alphabetical, oh, thank you, <laughs> they are. Wreath me way at the end. Okay, so keywords. Oh, gotta hold the little book, okay. Uh, unity, victory, immortality, honor, and good luck. Tarot card reference, the fool, the world, six of wands, and seven of cups. I like that. I like that she is putting these with tarot card okay antiquities of magic history of symbolism the wreath is a representation of unity and coming together of different aspects of life merging into an interlaced web of conception and growing connection the circular structure excuse me the circular structure represents immortality and cosmic uh 
eternity. The wreath also symbolizes rising to victory over challenges and obstacles. It is a symbol of happiness, delight, and good luck. Different flowers are interwoven into the wreath to honor the different gods, goddesses, and heroes, and types of flowers or victories associated with them. Wreaths are symbolic of rebirth, resurrection, and immortality, and are often used to garnish sacrifice animals during in initiation ceremonies and are also placed with the deceased to honor leaving this life and bridging the new realms. Okay, I've got to bend this book a little bit so I can read it. All right. Now is the time to dance. Okay, so this is the oracle message. Now is the time to dance and rejoice in the victories that are unfolding. You are worthy of them all. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> each effort you have put forth in life is appearing in material form. Look back and honor each moment that helped you arrive where you are. Take this time to nourish yourself with gratitude and pay forward words of kindness to those who have helped pave the way. A victory is never a result of a solo journey. Right. Most of the efforts may have come from yourself, but even the teachers of lessons and pain helped steer your course. Those moments have shaped your present. Be proud of yourself for rising through each challenge and redirecting your path to where you are now. This this reading's for me. I ho hopefully this helps somebody else too, but this is speaking to my shit right now. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> you owe yourself some serious appreciation and admiration. If victory is not present in your life right now, Keep an open mind and open heart. This is your validation. You are on your way. Your efforts have accumulated. You will be savoring the rewards of all your hard work. Your actions and words leave behind memories. These make your soul immortal. Choose wisely how you want to be remembered. Very nice. Yeah, this is me like busting my freaking butt. Like doing everything that I've done to get to this point. And um, I'm just still shooting for the stars, y'all. Um... I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers here. I think I'm at like 850 or like right under 850. Um, the last that I looked. And um, again, when I reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. You may receive something, something in this box. You never knew. <laughs> so yes, guys, that is it for our um, nine of earth for what month is this? May. 2022. What did you guys think of the items and the deck? I think it is super cool. Like how cool is this deck? The the deck is my favorite. That and I I do enjoy the um this hopefully I don't mess it up. This aura quartz necklace. It's pretty cute. So anyways, guys, I would love to hear what you think of this box in the comments below. Giving me a thumbs up and leaving me that comment. It really helps out my channel. And as that card said to thank those have, that have helped you, you guys have really helped me to start achieving my goals. Um, I've been working hard and I'm going to continue to work hard and hopefully bring you guys more, uh, more content, more diverse content, um, things that you guys can actually learn, like my tarot series. And I'm, I'm working on the next one and I'm going to try to get those out like ASAP for you guys. Um, and that is it. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you for um, following along. <laughs> and until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.